what do you think the mark's going to do from here? We're going to go through bar by bar and you get to test your knowledge. And if you want, you can type it right into the comments as to what you think. We'll call this number one. We're going to go through it kind of fast. So I'm not going to pause. Obviously, you can pause the video to write your answer down. Encourage you to do that. You can put in the comments just one answer number two, answer number three, answer, whatever you want to do. So, uh, or, and by the way, so you can say either up, down, sideways, or we're going to add a fourth answer. Just say, I don't know. Okay. And I don't know is a perfectly good answer. And when you don't know, you don't take a trade. So nothing wrong with, I don't know. All right. So what do you think the market's going to go, uh, do from here up, down, sideways, or you have no clues. So you wouldn't take a trade. All right. So let's go to the next bar. Uh, said, let's go to the next bar. Oh, that was Beautiful, Barry. Okay, so that's not what we wanted to do. See, this is why I'm telling you, it's very important that you uh, are not too smart when you trade. Okay, so <laughs> it goes up. All right, so very good. Did we have any indication that it would go up? Uh, for me personally, I didn't. I did not. I, there was no trade there that I would have taken. And by the way, this this leads to a very important point. I, this is a writer downer. I'd write this down. Just because the market does something does not mean, I'm going to add another bar there, does not mean that there's a high probability indication before it did that. All right, so if we go over here and look at this area here, for example, okay, sure, the market came down, but the question is, was there a high probability situation here, technical analysis um, um, situation, that would tell us that the market is going to go down? So the point is this, just because the market goes down or just because the market moves up, do not think that there was a high probability scenario that could have given you odds that it was going to make that move. In fact, I will even say most of the time there is not. So we're waiting. I call this waiting for the market to come to you. In other words, you've got your rules, you get your trade setups that you're using. These setups are statistical probabilities and you've got your little um, quiver of technical analysis setups that you know have high probability statistically proven over a period of time and therefore that's what you do you wait for the market to come in to form that setup and until it does that you just do nothing now you might have one or three or five setups and over time you might add more and that's fine but that's how we trade okay so uh now next bar what do you think it's going to do from here up down sideways you don't know uh, go ahead and add it to your list in the comments. And the next part is, again, if you want to pause for more time, you're welcome to. Next part is, oh, okay. Well, you could say it went down, it closed below the open for sure, uh, but really didn't make any significant move from high to low. Uh, what's the next bar do? All right, let's see what the next bar does. Holy moly, are you kidding me? Well, butter my buns and call me a biscuit. Are you serious? What the heck happened there? All right, so we had a gap down on big volume. Why? If you know why, put that in your comment as well. Let's call that number three. What are we up to? Tres? I think so. So now that's really the distinction as to when you know you're a really good trader is when you not only can guess if it's going to go up, down, sideways, you don't know, but when you know the reason why, when you know the reason why, okay, now you're not guessing. Now you have an, an information database from which to pull so that you can make intelligent decisions, logic-based decisions, and not just, you know, swinging by the seat of your pants. So the reason, and if you got this, by the way, if you don't know yet, you want to think about it, feel free to pause the video. But the reason is because, see this E down here? That means earnings. By the way, this is trading view that I'm showing you right now. So earnings was coming up. And so before this, even the first bar that I showed you, I, I allowed you to see the E on the screen. I wanted you to see that to give you uh, the opportunity to know that, oh, earnings are coming up here and maybe you saw it, maybe it didn't. All right, so that's a little thing there. Always, 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 always be aware of when an individual stock is coming out with earnings and also be aware of when major economic news is scheduled. That's very important. That can move the market dramatically. And that kind of news 
it will trump technicals. There's an old saying, uh, an ancient Chinese saying that I just made up that says, <laughs> I'm a dad, so I got to do these dumb dad jokes um, here in the state of California. I think we're legally required to tell them about once in an hour. And I'm trying to, you know, get ahead on that so that I don't have to tell them for the rest of the day. So I'm cramming in a whole bunch of dad jokes here early. But, um, so that is the issue is that you want to be no, known when earnings or major economic reports are going to be coming out because news trumps technicals. That's the saying. News trumps technicals. News, if there's big economic news that comes out or earnings, it doesn't care what the you know candlestick pattern is or if you're using indicators, what the RSI says or what the moving averages are saying, whatever moving averages you prefer to use or whatever the Fibonacci levels are. It doesn't give a mouse's left patootie about any of those things. It's just going to emotionally respond to the numbers and then what it thinks of those numbers. All right, so let's go forward. Uh, let's keep going here. We still got another minute or two. We can, oh my goodness, it gapped up. Now, did you see that coming? Did you see that coming? All right, so type in number four. That's number four. Did you see that coming after the gap down? So not only did it fill the gap, by the way, so you might've said, oh, it's gonna fill the gap. Uh, no, it more than filled the gap and it went above these highs. But that was after the earnings. And again, big volume spike. All right, so then what's it do there? Inside bar comes down a little bit, goes up a little bit, uh, kind of hanging in there around the same, kind of consolidating from highs to lows. Um, again, really not doing a whole heck of a lot. Oops, now it's starting to come down. Oh, there is a big engulfing bar, uh, narrow range bar. Uh, how many more of these should we do? Okay. Anyway, the big uh, issue there. Oh, so what do you think is going to happen here now? All right, what do you think is going to happen here? We'll do one more and add a few extra bars to this. All right, so write down your answer. What are we at? Number four or five? I forget now. All right, and so the next bar is uh, down. Next bar kind of consolidates. Whoops, it's up. Down, down. So if you said down, whoops, wait, it's going back up again. All right, so not a big move down. So even if you said down, it didn't go down very far, and now it's coming back up. And there she goes, wait, back down again. Now look at that, Most a lot of it's chaos, isn't it? If you look at this, most of this is chaos. I'm gonna do a video about uh, chaos in the market. One of the most important concepts you need to be aware of is chaos in the market and how to trade it and what I call chaos cycles. Now, uh, hey, if you want a really good trade setup, one of these trade setups that I'm talking about that have a high probability, I'm gonna give you one. It's called the rubber band trade. I love this trade. I still trade it to this day. I'm not going to give it to you because it's some old has been. I'm going to give it to you because it's one of my best trades. And I want to demonstrate to you, prove to you that um, not only do I know what I'm talking about, but I can help you make money. And I totally understand you hear a lot of people say a lot of things. And so it's hard to know who to trust. So I figure the best way to do it is just to give you a trade setup and help you make some money and give it to you for free. And you can see whether it makes you money or not. That way you don't have to believe me. Put it the test, simulate it, demo account it. And then, you know, if you like it, it's working for you, then you can trade it with real money. Then, hey, you know what? If you want to buy my courses with the money you make, great. If you don't, great. Either way, we part friends. So rubber band trade, go get it at rubberbandtrade.com and uh, type into the comments how you did. And if you like these kind of videos, I'd be very interested.